you ever wonder what it would be like to be one of the last people on Earth? Hey, Wastelanders, this is Gary. I tried to do this on Manus Factions Live. I, w I just wanted to uh, give a quick update on my uh, dagger knives collection. So you've seen the Sting, you've seen the Pelican, Arrow, Rhino, and this was my latest uh, collection knife. It's the Varon. And this is my first big knife. This uh, measures over a five inch blade. So you can see it sits about right here at, let's get it up. right here at five inches. Let's, let's pull the, pull this up just so you can see it. It's over four, four five inches. So cutting edge, it's a big blade. It's, for instance, the handle is measures at over uh, six and an eighth inch. So it's a, it's a beast of a knife. Anyway, I didn't want this uh, Voron to be my only big knife. So I got this knife. It's called the Parrot. It's, it's another beast. A liner lock that disengages uh, with the push button. So it's like a compression lock uh, for a Spyderco. It's uh, up here where you see the lock up. So let me open it. It, it has a kind of a funky flipper, but it's, it's a good flipper. So I don't know if you can see it, but the lockups up here, up the, at the top, and you push this button in and it disengages the lock. So another cool thing. It has a pin that stores in the handle on the back. So you, I, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'll just tell you, it unscrews and then you can screw it into this hole. It has threads on it and it can make it a, a fixed blade. So if you've ever saw my um, knife that's uh, from Artisan, it's called the uh, Proponent, you can, if you didn't know the proponent has a insert that you can change it into a, a locking fixed blade so to speak this knife is too but where this knife is better it has a storage area in the handle so like I'm probably going to uh, probably going to tie a small little uh, lanyard on this like a out of paracord so I can get a hold on it much more quickly and spin it out. I probably will never use it, but I think it will look cool because the handle is more than uh, big enough to grasp. Um, I can't see this uh, pen getting in my way. So, but uh, I wanted to tell you which knife that closely matches this blade. I, I think of it as a sting it's like a enlarged sting it, it without the hole of course i uh i think it's very rem reminiscent of this sting in the grind grinding pattern so i'm going to measure this blade because i haven't measured it it i don't think it's uh over five inches yeah it's it's about four and three quarters so it's a little shy it's quarter shy of being as big as this one but I like it um, that the liners or uh, they're nested in the handle so I like nested liners I don't believe I don't believe this knife is nested no n none of them are nested this is the first knife I had nested at liners and a dagger knife so I, I really like this knife <laughs> It's so big. It's so big. It, it has a screaming skull, but it has the newer newer design that the Rhino has, where this the the, the skull uh, clip is uh, attached to the bottom of the knife. So you can flip it basically, and uh, you know all the knives before you can flip them, but they just decided to 
do it differently and they don't they don't put uh, two eyeballs in in fact there's no eyeballs no screws in the eyeballs holes so yeah so next time you see this knife I'm gonna give this a, a blended look I'm probably going to go with an orange blend to yellow or a, a red blend to yellow because I've bl uh, I've blended uh, orange handles before and or yellow handles and I can get a I've blended orange handles too but um, I did a, a one yellow handle I don't have the knife anymore because I sold it it was a nice design I don't remember what it I'll put it down there in the screen if I can think of it um, but when I used red dye it it had a really cool red it changed to orange and then it changed to yellow it was really cool so I may do that with the red or I'm just may do it with the orange I don't I did I don't just I, I'm I have this new orange and I, I'm hesitant to the hesitant to use it on this so I probably will use it on a, a jade and see if it will dye a jade before I use it so anyway let's uh get on with some uh the other oh oh I'll leave this open anyway so, this is this knife and this knife I got on in on Wednesday as I said I tried to share it on Mattis Factions live but there were so many people I, I couldn't in interrupt his live I think I showed this one but I don't remember showing this one so this is the dagger resident um, this is the dagger parrot this is the dagger resident I bought this one in orange it came in black I, I believe and another color but two of the colors came in differently uh, a different blade a different blade that I've never ordered before and I'll explain why so this is a a fully serrated blade and uh, I just that I, my eye kind of landed on this fully serrated blade I'm not into serrated blades but I always said I mean you can maybe find some old interview or old videos that I've done where I showed a partial serrated blade and I said I hate partial serrated blade but I, I'm not opposed to a fully serrated blade. So I put my, my money where my mouth is and decided to buy a fully serrated blade. So and the Resident is the first knife, I believe, that comes in a fully serrated blade from Dagger. I'm just guessing. I don't know if that's true. That's the first knife I've noticed. And this is knife is new. Both of these knives are new, I think let's see if it has a date this is this has a July 22nd uh, 2022 date and the resident has mm, I don't know if oh no there's a date on there August 2022 so this is fairly new it's not only like a, a, a new blade or, or a new knife it's a new design so the grinds, there's no grind on my current collection that resembles this, other than like the dagger shape. So I, I even think the, I think the hole's a little bit different. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know why. I think it, I think it's a little bit bigger, a little bit, a little bit uh, more shape of a skull than a, a mushroom. But, and again, it has the. The, the funky clip that attaches at the top so it only has one screw in there as an eye all of my these three have both screws or both screws in the eye holes titanium blue screws but from this one on they stopped doing that I don't I don't know why but they they've got into adding glass breakers and attaching the, the the clip at the top so also they've they started doing a, a real pivot you you see my pivots they're all screw heads even this one it's a little bit different but from here on out well 
I don't know about this, but this knife and this knife has the new pivot design with the skull. So, and these both knives have a, a different flipper. For one, this is a, um, a flipper that is rounded and has jimping on it. Anyway, this is a little, I, I swear this is a little bit smaller of a handle. As you can see, the handle is, is a little bit smaller and I've noticed that right away. This knife is probably the smallest dagger knife that I own. Let's see what the blade size is. The blade is three and a half, but overall the knife feels like the smallest dagger I've ever owned. So, and again, this is going to get a, a dye job. I'm going to blend it from uh, orange or red to orange. I'll keep the the red on the red on or the orange on the body. So this is a different kind of orange. This knife used to be orange and I, I gave it a dark red to orange blend and I'm going to go the opposite way this way th on this knife. I'm going to start with red and finish on orange. I don't know why when I see an orange blade and I see a yellow or a orange handle and a yellow handle practically in a jade handle I used to I have to just give it a dye job a blended dye job I it's not I mean it's not anything special it just means something to me I just like a cool blend job this that's probably why this is one of my favorite dagger knives also the blade speaks to me so I just wanted to give you guys a uh, quick update on my da uh, dagger knife collection. And this is a, again, a flipper tab knife or, and I'm sure I can, I haven't spidey flick it, but you can spidey flick it. And I haven't, I haven't flipped this a lot lately. I have been playing, I have still been playing, uh, with the chunk that I showed on, I show you guys on two days ago, is the Beyond ADC chunk, and I've I've been playing with that because I, I need to give it a review soon and get it on its way. So I haven't had time to play with these a lot, but tomorrow I hope to uh, dye both of the scales. Oh, I just wanted to point out they use a uh, they use a screw head like a. Yeah, like a standard screw head. I don't. I think they they did that on this. Oh yeah, they did this on did that on this knife too. So I don't believe. Yeah. Let's see. Nope. I believe this is the 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 two newest designs by them. I I think the parrot's been designed before, but this happens to be a new color, I guess. So anyway. I'll let you guys go. I won't keep you up. Oh, I I, I almost never like flip the, with my thumb out of it. Yeah, I, I I always like spidey flick it. Anyway, guys, thanks for viewing my video, and it, it's Friday, so have a good weekend. Take care, Wastelanders.